Well, I think that, listen, Matt Taylor hit the nail on the head. When Will Stone get the opportunity to, to score goals, they need to take them. That's what's let them down up until now. But I expect Barney to really go out and really go and look to, to put the pressure on them, give them no space to be able to play. They don't. His experience and quality further up the English football divisions will pay dividends, I'm sure, throughout this season, Chapman. He's waiting inside the box along with others as that one's headed away by Jack Cook. Best delivery we've seen really from either side as Biro is struggling to clear it away. He's facing the wrong way. And if that... Oh, that's a lovely touch by Chapman to get away from his marker. It's so good. It can't be finished and Stead can't wrap it up either. Best chance. Hartigan. We'll take this one. Decent delivery, but it's headed out of the stadium in the end. Tavares underneath it, could never keep it down. Well, it's magnificent delivery. We know that Hartigan's got that. You know, he can put it on a sixpence. Tavares just can't get up and over it and heads it over. But again, another good opportunity for Barnett and... Kenlock. Coca. Chapman on the edge of the area. He'll strike it. It'll skip off the surface and straight into the arms of Sam Howes. Not too testing for the goalkeeper who read the angles and read them well. Yeah, you could see what he wanted to do. Um, he just didn't get the ball out of his feet enough to, to be able to get a, a real... On pay-per-view on the zone tonight. Coker in the meantime. He's got pullbacks if he wants to use them. And he does. And he does work it well. It takes a deflection. And wider the target as Shelton's effort just pings away from goal at the last moment. That is the last ditch defending. Well, I think it's Alex Dyer just launches himself in front of Shelton. And we know Shelton's got the ability. Once he finds himself in that box, he's got the ability. He's got the composure to be able to, to strike it well. It just looks like it cannons off of Dyer and just goes over the bar, but great opportunity for Barnett. But they don't deal with it. Howes just kicks it straight down the middle. Poor header from Tavares, and Abiro just, just gambles. Unfortunately for him, the ricochet just cannons off of him and goes just the wrong side of the post. But it should be noted that Wheelstone aren't exactly prolific goal scorers on home soil this season they've only scored one this campaign as Thorpe suddenly finds himself in behind the defense and somehow it's still not been turned in it's caught between two bodies McFarlane doing his best to try and get out from underneath the defender I think it was Tavares that was just holding it up the home side are trying to say that was obstruction it's certainly good fortune that McFarlane wasn't able to get something on it to steer it past Hayes and into the back of the net. Well, I've got to say, on first glance, it looked like it was just really good experience play from Tavares. He almost just throws himself onto the ball. It's a lovely, lovely cross. But you see Tavares there, he's just... Are still being held as we approach the hour mark. Quick free kick, and that's a clumsy challenge down inside the 18-yard box, and that's a penalty. Chapman brought down. See, so say the offender, he's already on a booking as well. And the referee had a quick look at it before Mr. Perk is pointed to the spot. And it's a chance from 12 yards for Barnett to find the breakthrough. I've got to say, looking at it at first class, I thought that was a penalty. I think they just got caught napping a great run from Chapman. And see, say so just tries to react and brings Chapman down. It'll be interesting to see this one back. Just the speed of the free kick, the arrow into the channel. As you see, Chapman will make this run off the edge of the area. But you can see Chapman's on the edge, Hartigan's on the ball, and it's not even Cissé's man. Chapman makes the run, Cissé doesn't even see him. And just as he turns, just brings down Chapman, and it's a penalty. It's the right decision from the referee. So a chance then for Mark Shelton. He's got close from the halfway line. He does the job from 12 yards. And he walks over to the home supporters, puts a finger to his lips and celebrates right in front of them. Just to add a little bit of extra spice to this London derby. Well, it's a lovely composed penalty from Shelton. 
never looks like missing. Steps up confidently. Barney will be delighted to get that goal. He's so early in the second half. As he approaches it, you don't know where he's going to go. He has the little star, sends Howes the wrong way, puts it in the back of the net. Real questions of that back line of Wildstone. Corner comes in all the way to the far post and turned in from close range. And just like that, the away side double their advantage. Well, it's a dangerous ball into the box. And it looks like it's Stead. It looks like Stead just gets a little poke on it. And that's what he'll give you, he's a poacher. He's just there waiting for anything that drops. Little sniffer gets his fifth goal of the season and he'll be... Also needs something to hang their hat on here. The chance would be great. McFarlane with the header, it's off the post. That's exactly what they were looking for. And he was inches away from eating into the deficit. Do you know what, that is brilliant play from McFarlane. He pulls off to that far post, and as you see, he just edges the defender out, just pushes him to create the space. Good header. Now for the nice side to try and put the icing on the cake again. Callum Stead just feeding it on the overlap. Hobson, Stead, neat ball through, wonderful work, and it had to be that man finishing it off. Nicky Kabamba back on the field, back scoring goals, and Barnett are back on top of the Vanarama National League with what's surely going to be a 3-0 win on the road against their local rivals, Wildstone. Well, you've got to say, I don't think that anything else would have would have been suitable than a Nicky Kabamba goal on his return to the team. Dean Brennan will be delighted that A, he, Kabamba's back and B, that he's managed to get a goal. But you've got to say, that was all through Callum Stead. Great work down the right-hand side. Lovely little ball into, into Kabamba. Kabamba just squeezes it in. Squeezes it under Howe's body. He'll feel disappointed to let that one in. We played the eight minutes of stoppage time. There will be no more. Wheelstone are beaten, battered and bruised by a Barnet side that moved to the top of the Vanarama National League table with a convincing 3-0 victory on their travels. The London derby at this level of football ended up being a rather one-sided affair thanks to strikes from Mark Shelton from the penalty spot. Callum stared off the bench after he replaced the injured Rhys Brown and the return to goal-scoring form of Nicky Kabamba in second half stoppage time. Barnet are all abuzz about what could happen at the Hive this season. And you can understand exactly why Dean Brennan and co are feeling the pressure of being favourites to take the Vanarama National League title this season. It finishes here. Wheelstone nil. Barnet three.